Let's ride Rise of the Resistance at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Hey everybody, it's Herb from World of Walt. Welcome to another live Saturday broadcast from Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And today, I think I probably need to buy a lottery ticket. I was able to get a virtual queue reservation for Rise of the Resistance, and it's up right now. So not only do I get to ride today, but I get to ride with you, and I'm very excited to do that. We are here at the entrance to Disney's Hollywood Studios at the crossroads of the world. Plenty of people are streaming in for a fun day exploring Hollywood. And we're gonna take a little walk down Sunset Boulevard and make our way over to Batu and uh, check out Rise of the Resistance, one of my, probably my favorite attraction here. Robin, hello to you from Madison, Wisconsin. Hope you're having a good summertime. Teresa, good morning in Philadelphia. We got about uh, 89 degrees, something like that, maybe mid 80s. Uh, it's gonna go up to 90. The sun is definitely out today. Uh, not too super hot, but the sun is intense. It is definitely a Florida summertime day. Emily, good morning to you. Eddie's joined the broadcast and Robert. Robert's gonna be here in August. Robert, that is great. Hope you have a good trip. Lisa from New Jersey, hello to you. I am also uh, giving away a prize this week. So every once in a while I give away a prize. Um, just my way of saying thank you for being a part of the broadcast and contributing. Uh, so hang on for that. Uh, the prize is actually a very special pin uh, celebrating the release of Behind the Attraction, the new Disney Plus show streaming. I'm actually going to be uh, publishing a review courtesy of the nice folks at Disney Media Relations. I had an opportunity to preview uh, most of the episodes, and I gotta tell you, they're really good. If you are a Disney Parks fan, especially if you love behind the scenes, hearing directly from Imagineers, you are going to want to check it out. Sherry, hello to you from Rochester, cold in Rochester in July, really? Wow. Kathleen has joined. John from Boca Raton. Hey, John, nice to see you. Thanks for being here on the broadcast. And Susan, hello to you. Dave from Central New York. So you can see lots of people here today. Disney's Hollywood Studios looks like it's going to have a busy day. Lots of folks are headed directly straight ahead for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Very fun attraction. If you haven't done it yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. Just don't want to run over people who are taking pictures. That's not a good thing. Kathleen says, it looks beautiful, has a dark and rainy day in Buffalo. Glad that I can send some sunshine your way. Scott, welcome to the broadcast. Sherry says, want to bring sun for graduation. I hope that you're able to do that. Great place to celebrate. Make sure you pick up a I'm celebrating button at the entrance to the park. Uh, you'll get lots of congratulations along the way. And you never know, sometimes Disney cast members will do something a little extra special for you. Douglas says, thanks for a great video from Hollywood Studios. Douglas, my pleasure. Jane says, larger crowd today. This is definitely true. Uh, you can see it over here to the right where the queue for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway extends out, uh, which it typically does, but uh, the queues are no longer socially distanced here, so lots of people. Larry said, let's go the long way around. Larry, you just convinced me I was gonna hang a left and go to Batu, but you know what? I should take the long way around. It's what I do. So we are going to go to the right. We'll take a little stroll through Hollywood, or excuse me, through Toy Story Land, and a little bit of a longer way through Batu. On our way to the Rise of the Resistance. Uh, very excited to have an opportunity to go on that today and to share it with you. Hey, Darlene. Good morning to you in Alabama. Thank you for being here. John's got reservations for January. That is great. All right, so I will make this announcement a couple times during the broadcast, but I wanted to share with you a special prize uh, that I am giving away this week. So I'll be taking entries through Monday, and here's what you could win. Uh, here is a very, oh, it's not showing up too well, a uh, very special trading pin. Uh, there it is. For Behind the Attractions, the new series coming to Disney+, Plus, where you get to see behind the scenes on how Disney makes attractions all around the world. Things like the backstory of the Haunted Mansion, it's a small world, uh, information on the monorails. Uh, this is a very unique pin, one that I do not believe is being sold in the stores, uh, but is out to celebrate the opening, uh, the streaming of this new service, which is coming up this week. I'm actually gonna be publishing my review later today, so check that out. So how can you win, you might ask? Well, I'm happy to tell you. All, right, well, all you do is send an email, send the email with a subject line of review. You don't have to put anything in the body and send that to info at worldofwalt.com. 
I will enter you to win yeah, that going. pin. And if you have also shared this video and if you comment on the Facebook post, and I'll send you a link, I will also throw in a $20 Disney gift card as my way of saying thank you. So I uh, hope uh, you uh, decide to enter to win this very special pin celebrating behind the attraction. And good luck. John shared the email address, info at worldofwealth.com. John, thank you very much for doing that. Again, in the subject line, uh, put the word review, and I will send you the link to the review and a place to post on Facebook. If you post on Facebook and share this broadcast, uh, I will also throw in a gift card in addition to getting you uh, entered into the, the drawing. Emily, good morning to you, asking about the weather. Uh, it's warm, it's July, and it is Florida. We have mid 80s, gonna go up to 90. The sun is pretty intense today. I did slather up with some sunscreen. Uh, actually, it's not as hot as I would have expected though. With a high of 90, I, you know, this time of the year, I'd be looking for upper 90s. So lower 90s, uh, that's pretty good. Hey Pete, good morning to you in Northern Minnesota. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Thanks for spending a little bit of it here with me. John, thank you very much again to enter to win the pin. Also a $20 gift card. Send an email to me for the subject of review. You don't have to put anything in the body. Just send it to info at rollthewalt.com. Debbie from Fort Myers, hello to you. And Don from Hagerstown. Jennifer, good morning. So here on our right is Walt Disney Presents. Um, once again, showing one man's dream. I definitely want to uh, check that out. I have not seen that in a while, and Disney sometimes rotates through the movies. Uh, it's a great story about Walt. I think a very uh, honest and balanced story. It talks about his lows and his highs, uh, and, and it does it in his own words. So if you haven't checked out One Man's Dream, definitely suggest doing it. Mary Ellen, 115 days to go. All right, we are on our way to Batu and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, where I struck gold today, and I have a virtual queue reservation for Rise of the Resistance. But as we often do, we're taking a long way around. We're going to see what's happening in Toy Story Land and just enjoy wandering through the parks. Tracy from Delaware, hello to you. Thanks for being here. And Yvonne from Colorado, hello. Uh, so I mentioned before that the new Disney Plus show behind the attraction is coming out, uh, I think, early or midweek. I think Wednesdays are now the release dates. And I had an opportunity to preview uh, most of the episodes. They're really good. It's more of a lighthearted, funny look um, as opposed to the Imagineering story. Uh, but you do get to see some very interesting video. You get to see a lot of interviews with Disney Imagineers and other people who are involved. Uh, and actually, for each of the uh, episodes that I watched, I tried to pick out a fun little piece of trivia, something I didn't know, and I included it in the article. That article is going to post later today, and I'll also send it over on Facebook. If you enter the drawing, I'll include the link to the review, as well as a place on Facebook where you can comment. Debbie said, did she miss out on the Pin of the Month Club plug? Well, you know, there are always more, so you can uh, never miss out as long as you ask for another one. If you'd like to have a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Mary Lou, hello to you. Brandy says, thanks for sharing Hollywood Studios. It is my pleasure. So over here on the right, uh, the Toy Story Barbecue Place, which is still under construction. Actually very excited that it's coming. Hollywood Studios uh, will definitely benefit from some additional uh, sit-down restaurants. Fun concept art here, what it's gonna look like, the, the uh, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. I always love seeing Disney concept art. So we're standing right at about this spot where you're going to be able to see the Roundup Rodeo. Can't wait for it. Anthony from the UK, hello to you. Welcome. Michael, good morning to you. Says, loves Hollywood Studios. Army men. I actually used to have a bag of Army men when I was a kid. Lots of fun. Kathy, good morning to you in Central Michigan. Hope you're having a good day. Slinky Dog. Pretty long line stretching all the way back to this cast member with a sign 90 minutes. That's a good long line right there. Welcome, new toys. Rex and me are just adding some free fine touches. Dwayne, hello to you. Thanks for joining the live broadcast. Lots of people in Toy Story Land. Toy Story Midway Mania, 50 minutes. It is the is middle of the summer. Kids are out from school. Families are here on vacation, so. It is the time for long lines here at Walt Disney World. 
Mary Ellen says, loves the article and the knowledge. Thanks for sharing, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, thank you for that. Um, if you haven't done so, you might want to head over to worldofwalt.com, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, look for me on Facebook and sign up there. Uh, ask Facebook to give you notifications. I'll publish typically many articles each week about the latest news and what's been going on. This week, another very big news week at Disney World. Lots of information about what's coming up at Christmas time. Uh, huge news about how Disney is moving 2,000 employees from California to Florida and the Lake Nona area, about 20 minutes from Disney World. Uh, test Disney Cruise Line cruise happening today. Uh, lots of stuff. Iona says, loves Hollywood Studios. Nancy's joined. Hey, Nancy. Karen says, thank you, Karen. You are very welcome. Thank you for joining me. All right, we are on our way to go see Rise of the Resistance. As I mentioned, today is my lucky day. I got a virtual queue and it aligned with the broadcast time. So you can't beat that. Okay, alien swirling saucers, having fun. John, thanks for posting the website address. Worldofwalt.com is where you can check it all. Also, if you haven't done so, you might want to, to click the bell or turn on notifications. That way, uh, Facebook or YouTube, if you're watching the replay, will notify you when I post new videos. Um, typically, I'm live every Saturday morning around 10, unless it's Epcot, then it's 10.30. Uh, and really enjoy spending some time with you. Thank you very much for the comments. Thank you for the thumbs up and the likes, especially the shares. It's a great way to get the word out. Uh, and just a lot of fun. Chuck says, can't wait, haven't been there since, haven't been here since April 2017. It's like a trip lined up next year in 2022. Wendy's joined the broadcast. Hi, Wendy. All right, we're going to be leaving behind the colorful sights and uh, sounds of Toy Story Land and making our way into Batu as we took the long way around and are headed to my current favorite attraction at all of Walt Disney World, Rise of the Resistance. Uh, an amazing, amazing experience. I'm glad to be able to share it with you. John, thanks for posting that link, pinofthemonthclub.com. Matthew says, enjoys the videos. Carol says, likes the videos too. Carol, thanks so much for being here. Okay, you can hear the soundscape has changed. Now we're hearing the sounds of nature and a much different mood when it comes to the music. Christine, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for being here. Kimberly says, a beautiful day. Fun to visit Disney every Saturday. It is my pleasure to be able to share it with you. Thanks for being here with me. Carolyn says, good morning. Thanks for the Disney fix. Glad to do it. All right, before we get into Rise of the Resistance, I wanted to share again with you the giveaway that I'm uh, doing today. So in celebrating the release of the new Behind the Attractions series on Disney Plus, I'm giving away this very special pin, which I do not think is available in stores. I got it courtesy of the nice folks at Disney Me Relations. Um, a pin for Behind the Attractions, again, new series coming to Disney Plus. I've had an opportunity to check out the series in a preview. I watched, uh, I think, more than half of them, which is what was made available to me. And they're really good. They're much more lighthearted than the Imagineering story. Um, but I think you'll want to check them out, especially if you enjoy Disney parks and especially if you like behind the scenes and interviews with Imagineers. So you're probably saying, hey, Herb, what can I do to enter to get that pin? Well, I'm happy to tell you. It's easy. Just send an email to me and in the subject line, put the word review. You don't have to put anything in the body. Send that email to info at worldofwalt.com and I will get you hooked up to win that pin. Um, if you also share this video, and uh, if you comment on the Facebook link for the, the article, and I'll send you the details on how to do that, um, I'll also toss in a $20 gift card is my way of saying uh, thank you. So go ahead and send me that email. I'll get you signed up, and good luck. Amy Beth, good morning to you, and happy Saturday. Karen, good morning from Pennsylvania. John, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, again, subject line, put review. Send it to info at worldofwalt.com. I always appreciate when you repost that in the, the comments. That's really big help to me. Thank you. Heather says, the series has made Disney Plus worth it. I, I agree, actually. I think Disney Plus is really a bargain. 
uh, even though they did raise the price. Uh, but the behind the scenes information that you're able to get, uh, like the making of Frozen 2 or the Imagineering story or very soon behind the attraction, uh, it's so much fun to see this information uh, come out at Disney+. Plus. Karen says, loves the walks. Karen, thank you for being a part of it. Amy Beth says, loves the videos. Amy Beth, thank you so much. Uh, I got people with their blue and green milk. Danny says, miss Disney vacation, hoping to come in December. Hope that works out. Charlie said, would love to be here. I hope you get an opportunity to come soon. Ah, looks like we got some stormtroopers out patrolling. Always fun. Elda said, never been on Rise of the Resistance. You are in for a treat. It is the most technically advanced attraction that Disney has ever attempted. Uh, it's, it, it's, in a word, amazing. I think you're going to love it. Jennifer says, do the stormtroopers walk around? So I don't think they actually walk around in the crowds at this time, but you do have experiences like this, uh, kind of similar to the distanced um, social, or sorry, distance character meet and greets, where the, the characters are a little bit far away, but you still get to see them, sometimes interact with them. Very cool. Bethany, good morning to you. All right, we continue on our long way around on our way to Rise of the Resistance. My virtual queue is up and I am so excited personally that I get to ride it and also that I get to share it with you. Marcos, good morning to you. He's gonna be here next week. Leah shared the broadcast. Leah, thank you so much for doing that. It is a great way to get the word out. Michelle says, loves the Stormtroopers, me too. Uh, it, it's fun that they kind of interact with the crowd. Uh, they definitely enhance the scenes here at Batu. a lot of fun. Kim, hello to you, welcome. Jackie said they walked around pre-COVID, that is true. Uh, they were actually out in the crowds. Doesn't happen today, but you still do get to see the stormtroopers like we did back there. Uh, it's just they're a little bit further away. All right, fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, Millennium Falcon in all its glory, looks great. And lots of people are getting ready for their uh, ride on Onaka Transport Solutions. Standby minute looks like, or standby looks like, uh, I think it's an 80. It's a little hard to see, actually. Uh, Disney has returned the single rider line, which is kind of good. That means they get more people through the attraction. That's good for everybody. Karen says, Pin of the Month Club rocks. Karen, you rock. Thank you so much for saying that. Thanks for being a part of the club. And today you win the award, which is my appreciation, for prompting the shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. All right, lots of people in Batu today. Disney's Hollywood Studios has got a crowd, that is for sure. Donna says, favorite spot with a falcon. Uh, very beautiful, very picturesque. Gotta love that. Rick says, thanks for streaming. Rick, it is my pleasure. Karen loves Disney. I'm a Disney fan too. Uh, we'll, we'll take the ramp, why not? Uh, I have to stop for a second and take a peek in here at Ronto's Roasters. That droid has been working hard for a long time to get lunch ready for everybody. Terry shared the video, thank you for that. Andrea said we'll be there next week and maybe her chance to ride it. Uh, I hope that that works out for you. Um, I know it's a bit of a uh, look at a draw in being able to get a virtual queue, but I, I truly hope you get a chance to experience it. It is incredible. Uh, make sure that you are on the Disney Parks app at um, seven o'clock and do your best to get your, your virtual queue reservation. If that doesn't happen, try again at one. Uh, don't be a minute late because the virtual queue reservations will very likely be gone. Samuel, hello to you. Jay, good morning, says, looks like a fantastic day. It is a beautiful day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's warm and the Florida sun is intense, but it's really a nice day. Uh, and it hasn't, hasn't uh, warmed up so much to be a cooker yet. Uh, and it's actually not gonna be that bad. Steven, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for being here. Tim is at Cedar Point, my old stopping grounds in Sandusky, Ohio. Tim, it is nice to see you on the broadcast. Good luck in the tournament to you and your family. 
face as it's wonderful. This is being here. Glad that I can bring it to you virtually. And thank you for being here with me. Uh, it's because you're here. It's because you comment. It's because you give me thumbs up. Because you share. Uh, that sometimes I get the opportunities to do special things with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, uh, which is uh, honestly a, a thrill for me and gives me an opportunity to share new information with you. Uh, and I, I just I can't thank you enough for your support that enabled that to happen. Uh, this week, as I mentioned, I've been watching the new Disney Plus series in a preview behind the attraction, and so I can't wait to share my review with you later today. It'll be posted to the site. Uh, you'll want to check it out. If you're a Disney fan and you have Disney Plus, you'll want to check it out. If you don't have Disney Plus, it's pretty cheap. I would recommend getting it. Larry says, has to get a job so he can join Pin of the Month Club. You are welcome to join anytime. Just head over to pinofthemonthclub.com. Elaine, thank you for sharing. Truly appreciate it. All right, our destination is here, Rise of the Resistance, and I can't wait to go on it. Barbie said, what are the temperatures like in October? Barbie, this is a good question. Uh, it's a time of the year where it varies quite a bit. Uh, it can cool down, but October can still be very, very hot. So I would say be prepared for temperature swings. Um, I've definitely seen 80s and 90s in October, uh, but that time of the year, it can, it can cool down too. Karen says, I keep Disney alive until people can get there. It is my pleasure to do so. Okay, actually, before we get into the queue, or maybe when we get into the queue, I'll go ahead and tell you how you can enter to win the drawing for this week, which is a very special pin, to the best of my knowledge, not available in stores, uh, celebrating the release of the new Disney Plus series behind the attraction. I've actually never seen the line for the virtual queue return stretch out this far into that too. Very interesting. Beth says, loves Pin and Month Club. Beth, thank you so much for being a part of it. Hey, Mike, good morning to you. Nice to see you here. All right, this looks like the end of the line right here. Looks like we're going to have a few minutes before we, we get to uh, the checkpoint. Okay, so let me share with you again, if you're new to the broadcast or as a good reminder uh, about the giveaway today. So today I'm giving away this very special pin celebrating the release of Behind the Attraction, a new series on Disney Plus. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, this pin is not available in the stores, so this may be the only way you would have an opportunity to get it. Um, what can you do to get this pin? I'm glad you asked. All you have to do is send an email. If I can get the paper out. There we go. So in the email, put in the subject line review, and send that to info at rollthewalt.com. You don't need to put anything in the body and I will enter you to win that very special trading pin celebrating the release of the new Disney Plus series, Behind the Attraction. Um, if you also share this broadcast and if you make a comment on a Facebook, look, uh, Facebook link that I will provide, uh, which is gonna be the review for it, um, I'll also include a $20 Disney gift card for you. Alex, thank you for sharing the broadcast, appreciate that. Hey, Lori, good morning to you. All right, we're getting close to the place where I'm gonna need to scan my card. I've got it ready. Veronica said it's a beautiful pin. It sure is, it's a really nice pin. Hi, Philip. Jody, good morning to you. Angel said, well, that line, kind of crazy. You know, I've, I've not seen the line for getting back from the, or into the virtual queue this long before, uh, but hey, it works. Vans, vans. All right, we are on our way. Hey, Susan, nice to see you. Cheryl, thanks for joining the broadcast. And Crystal, good morning. Excited that I got on the virtual queue and have an opportunity to ride Rise of the Resistance and especially share it with you. Carla, thank you so much for sharing the video. Gloria did as well. Thank you for doing that. Leslie, never got to ride it in person. Can't wait to get on it one day. It is spectacular. I can't wait to share it with you. How many? One. All right. 
we're in. The technology worked. John said the line is moving. This is true. That's one of the wonderful things about the virtual queue. Sherry says, can't wait to do Rise of the Resistance. Uh, when you get to do it, I think you will be floored. It is amazing. Lorna said, got to go on Rise of the Resistance and loved it. So happy to hear that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really reset the bar for what Disney Imagineering can do in creating a new immersive experience, taking storytelling to a whole new level. Amazing. Jeff asks, how's the virtual queue work? Jeff, it's a great question. Uh, so for Rise of the Resistance, Disney opens up windows twice a day at 7 a.m. and at 1 p.m. And at those times, you can go onto the Disney My, uh, My, My Disney Experience app and you can request to get into the virtual queue. Uh, you need to be there at 7 a.m. or 1 p.m. on the dot uh, because the virtual queue reservations are gobbled up within seconds. Uh, but what you do in the app is you say join a virtual queue, you select your party, and then you say join. And then Disney, uh, if you're lucky, gives you a virtual queue spot and you will get notifications in the app uh, on what your boarding group is and approximately how far into the future in minutes uh, you can join. So uh, it does take a little work, but it saves standing in line for hours and hours. Mickey said, any news on Typhoon Lagoon? No, nope, not yet. Donna says, looks like a gorgeous day. That it is. It's a good day to, uh, to be in Batu. Danny says, hope she can get here soon. Thanks for sharing. Sue, welcome to the broadcast. Christy says, vacationing in beautiful Marco Island. Great place. And Vicky, the Georgia Peach is watching now. Hey, Vicky, thanks for being here on the broadcast. Uh, you know, once I actually get into the attraction itself, I'll be quiet. Hello, Chris. Head all the way towards the doors. Okay. 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 Dwayne says, how much time do you have to get in the queue when your boarding group is called? Uh, I've actually, I did some research that on this morning because I was kind of wondering if the timing was going to work out for me. Uh, and I saw responses that said one hour and I saw responses that said two hour. Uh, so I would plan for one hour. And basically, when your queue is called, I would, I would definitely head back to Rise of the Resistance. Lots of great details to see. Velda said, shared, thank you for that. Lindsay, hello to you from the UK. Hector, welcome to the broadcast. Jeanette says, thanks for sharing. BB-8 doing his thing. Hey, Nicole, good morning to you. Hey, Justin, thanks for sharing. Bob, welcome. Joyce celebrating 75th birthday in December. That is great. Happy birthday to you. That is a milestone year for sure. Once the show gets started, I'll be quiet so you and the others around can hear. <laughs> John says, yeah, we need a traction vehicle for 950 people, please. John says, nice to see smiling faces. Our outpost on Motu is no longer safe. We have to 
transport's waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Line Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Paul Dameron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Bakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the General. So someone asked. So someone asked if you have to be in the park to make the virtual queue at 7 a.m. No, but at 1 p.m. Yes. Nice to see you. Welcome to the broadcast. This is your final call report. I am getting a high reading on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the binary motivator. Yes. I just want to be sure. The recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. Good. You're going to go down the drive. Yes. Check the hyperdrive also. Transport take off in 20 seconds. Good. Airspeed sensor. Thank you, Magnum. Black Leader, are you and your team ready? Affirmative. Engines are hot. Red 2, blue 5, report to Red 2, check. Blue 5, standing by. We're in a weaker systems country again. Affirmative. Red, okay. <laughs> Hyperdrive systems normal. Zero. Main reactor. Are you sure? In a weaker country again. Hang on. Red, okay. Look at that. Red, okay. 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 Red, Engage repulsors and hold on, recruits. All ships launch. Here we go. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. Black Leader. We're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? <laughs> there appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got company! First Order TIE Fighters! We are up! We are up! civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. They'll out there. They'll want a location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors! Thanks for joining me live broadcast on Rise of the Resistance, Disney's Hollywood Studios. I'll never tell them the location of the base. They'll never get out of here. This is an incredible scene, seeing all these stormtroopers lined up. Jeanette said, very cool. Jeanette, I agree with you. See the divider still up here? Someone said everyone is so quiet. It's very true. I think people walk out of that transport ship and they are just wowed and overwhelmed by the size of the space and the scale of what they are seeing with so many stormtroopers after being ordered out. Yeah, amazing. Susan says, can't wait to see it in November. Susan, I truly hope you get an opportunity to check it out. Paula says, wants to ride. It is worth doing. Lisa said, are they real or only one or two? So uh, the vast majority of the stormtroopers in that bay are uh, animatronics. Uh, sometimes they'll put a real one in there, though, just to kind of mix things up and make it fun. Ted says, amazing attraction. Can't wait to do it one day. Patty, hello to you. And hello to your daughter. Tell her I said hi. Michelle says, rise of the resistance is spine tingling. Vicky says, a great experience. Completely agree. And you know, it's just one thing after another. We get the hologram with Ray, we get the transport ship, we get the, the launch bay with all the stormtroopers, and we're only halfway into it. We haven't even gotten into a ride vehicle or the detention area. Uh, yeah, Disney, Disney really hit it out of the park with this attraction, and it still shows. Um, they can't really do standby because people would be waiting in line for hours and hours. So I really uh, appreciate the fact that Disney has the virtual queue in place. Uh, and I'm very thankful that today I had the opportunity to get a virtual queue and share this with you. Diana, welcome to the live broadcast. Lisa says, sounds really cool. Can't wait to ride it. Ronnie's going to be here in December. Nancy has joined. Nancy, hello to you. Bonnie said it would be so fun to have one real stormtrooper. I do see that every once in a while, which is kind of fun. Actually, I don't know if they continue to do that um, in these post-pandemic times, but there was a time when they did. Lori is going to be here for the 50th anniversary. That is great. It is going to be uh, an amazing uh, year here of celebration, actually 18 months of celebration. Uh, at Walt Disney World, so many things going on. Disney actually released uh, mock-ups, I'll say, concept art of the first two Fab 50 statues, which are going to be 50 Disney characters all around the parks, uh, created in gold tones. It looked very cool. Mickey was the first one they announced. And it looks pretty good. Francis says, haven't been on the ride yet. Francis, glad to give you a chance to check it out. I think you are going to uh, be floored by it. 
Debbie's coming in early August. Hopes to get a boarding group. Uh, Debbie, I hope you get it. Larry said, signal is holding up. That is good to know, Larry. Thank you for that. Uh, you never really know if the internet's going to cooperate or not, so I'm thankful that it is cooperating today. I think I've done one other broadcast from Rise of the Resistance, and uh, as best I remember, it worked okay. So I hope that will continue to be the case. Yvonne was here last December, was lucky enough to do Rise of the Resistance. So glad to relive it. Glad they had an opportunity to see it in person and that you're getting a chance to check it out today. Uh, Don asked a good question. So is it still difficult to get a park pass reservation? Uh, so Don, as a pass holder and a Central Florida resident, as you soon will be, um, uh, it's getting easier. It seems like Disney is adding more availability. Um, there have been times in the past where it's pretty much been, uh, I'd say, a 50-50 on whether you can get a park pass reservation on a weekend if you're a pass holder. Um, and oftentimes the weekends would be grayed out, meaning there's no availability, or there would be yellow, meaning there's just limited availability. Uh, but today, lots of green and the park pass reservation. So I think Disney uh, has opened up availability, and it's much easier to be able to get in, which is good news. Jody went on it in May, says it was amazing. How many? How many show you did? One. One behind that super car. More stormtroopers. Dennis says once again sees Disney excelling in long lines. Disney definitely knows how to handle crowds. It's what they do well. Patricia said, rode this attraction last week and it was amazing. If I get a chance to check it out. Valerie, welcome. Vicki said, we were at the boardwalk in May and did the Magic Kingdom in Epcot. Glad you had a chance to check that out. Uh, someone asked about, do you need a virtual queue for the entire party? Yes, each person uh, in the party needs to be in the virtual queue, but only one person uh, has to grab the virtual queue reservation for everyone. Uh, so when you make the queue reservation, you can select your whole party. Uh, you can get everybody in one fall swoop. You probably want to have everyone in your party try to do it, and that way hopefully one of you will get it. Three on red, two on blue. How many there? One. Red. How many? Now look down, and remember as the color I assigned you, this will be important for your interrogation. When the cell door opens, blue and red will enter in first. Silver and orange will follow them. Inside, stay towards the center of the cell. Is that clear? Any questions? Interrogation is about ready to begin. <laughs> I see people with huge smiles on their face. It's fun. Christina, it's very nice to do this. Christina, it's my pleasure. Thanks for being a part of it. Rick said it's very cool. That it is. Oh, Liz was asking about the virtual queue. Thank you. Uh, John asks, are mobility scooters able to get on? Uh, my guess is yes. I saw someone in a wheelchair. Uh, I don't know if the scooter can get into the ride vehicle or if you have to transfer. Probably have to check on that one. Says best experience at Walt Disney World. It is amazing. Maria says, "What do they do during the interrogation?" Uh, Kylo Ren, I think, is going to pay us a visit. Let's see. I think he wants information on the plans for the base.
Alan, thank you. Jolene, happy to bring it to you. Jill says a scooter could go on. Thank you. Everybody is so quiet. Leave us. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. I'll never tell them the location of the secret base. Messed it up. Securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. What the? Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, this goes to the further. We are reaching the top of our bridge. Your cover is blown. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Take cover, recruits! Is anyone packing a blaster? 
Yes. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Now we are! All personnel to their station! Sir, the prisoners have escaped! How brave! But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run! outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, it's your resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know, staff for his pocket. More escape pods down in sector four. Verification pending from key command personnel. Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Lieutenant Beck here. Beck, uh -huh. you're alive. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is secure. Bravo. <laughs> yes, R5, you too. <laughs> What did you think? Did you enjoy your spin on the Rise of Resistance? I thought it was amazing. Love the opportunity to share it with you. And it's a thrill every time I get the chance to go on it. So much great storytelling, so many uh, great pieces of technology working together. Uh, just simply, simply extraordinary. Uh, Disney, as I said before, I believe has really reset the bar for what is possible when it comes to uh, immersive storytelling, interactive experiences, uh, just amazing. So thanks for being a part of it. I uh, wanted to give one last set of information on how you can enter to win a prize this week. I'll be accepting entries through Monday. So this week, uh, in celebration of the release of the new Disney Plus series Behind the Attraction, I'm giving away this very special Disney trading pin. To the best of my knowledge, it is not available for purchase. Uh, so this may be the only way that you can get it. And uh, this pin is celebrating the release, which I think happens this Wednesday. I'll be releasing an article later today with my review. I had an opportunity to preview most of the episodes, uh, courtesy to nice folks at Disney Media Relations. Uh, and you're probably saying, so Herb, what can I do to win this pin? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Uh, here's what you can do. You can send an email to me and in that email uh, subject line, put the word review and send it to info at worldofwalt.com. I will get you set up to win that pin. If you have shared this broadcast and you also comment on the Facebook link that I'll send to you, which is the review of the article I'll post later today, uh, I will also toss in a $20 gift card. 
Um, if you aren't already signed up for the worldwalt.com newsletter, which comes out every Monday, I'll get you hooked up for that too, no charge. Um, that will give you information on a recap of what's happened in the past week. Uh, even if you follow on Facebook, which I hope you do, they often don't show you everything. So it's a great way to make sure you don't miss out on any of the information. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today for a live broadcast from Disney's Hollywood Studios on a warm July Saturday, a beautiful day. So pleased that the timing worked out today that I had an opportunity to broadcast Rise of the Resistance and share it with you. It's a thrill for me to experience it personally, but it's even more fun when I get to share it with you. So thanks for being a part of it. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, God bless.